Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining me here today on this Friday review of the Cabral Concept. Excited to be here with you. Brand new show. Brand new research, of course, every single week, bringing you two new research studies this week. You won't want to miss them. Today's research is going to be on collagen and how it may be able to help improve sleep. I'll tell you exactly when to take it for best results, especially if you're someone that exercises. This is a big one. And then I also want to go over a specific study on berberine and its improving of lipid-based levels. So that means you have higher levels of cholesterol, what it's able to do in order to be able to help lower those cholesterol levels to a much healthier level. We'll go over over a book review. If you're someone that's looking to improve your overall life, you want a little inspiration, actually found in my book archive. So I'm back in Maine. This is the Maine office. And uh, inside of my library of thousands of books, I found a book, one of the original books, actually on neurolinguistic programming. Neurolinguistic programming, if you're not familiar, NLP is actually something that you can use to be able to rewire your own mind to be able to have more positive thoughts about career, health, body transformation, family, relationships, spirituality, and so much more. So I'm going to share that one. Super small, easy book to read. I've got a product review, a new sea salt. Yes, I like to bring you ordinary products that I use every single day and why this might be one that you may be looking to switch to your favorite sea salt. But before we get into that, let's do a couple recaps for the week. The first one is that we are underway, right? So this is our summer seven-day detox week. If you're not familiar with our community's quarterly detox, I invite you to check it out. One is I have a free course. The second is what we actually do step-by-step. So quick summary is at stephencabral.com slash detox. And the other is at stephencabral.com slash courses. That will actually share with you step-by-step information. One more in depth with the course. If you don't know what a functional medicine detox is, trust me, you want to know what that is. It is now, without a doubt, one of the most popular things that you can do in terms of health, but also one of the safest and most effective things you can do as well. Uh, seven days is a great way to dip your toe in and start. And when you do it quarterly, well, that adds up over the course of the year to pull those heavy metals, uh, imbalanced blood sugar, hormones, and so many other things back into balance. All right. So the next is that every single week, I'm going to try to bring you a new featured speaker for the Reimagined Health Summit. If you're not familiar with the Reimagined Health Summit, I would love to meet you in person. So would my team. And every single October, we have the chance to do so as a community to come, to, to come together in person. So this year, it'll be in Orlando, Florida. Would love to see you there. Uh, For all the details, check out rhsevent.com. That'll take you right over to the website, and you'll be able to see all of the limited tickets there. All right, this week's special announcement is Dr. Stacy Whitman. Uh, Dr. Stacy is a functional biological dentist. She specializes in children's-based dentistry and all the alternatives that you can use as opposed to conventional medicine-based dentistry. So being careful of different types of fillings and mercury and fluoride and so much more. So she's going to be teaching both adults and what we can do for our kids and our family in order to have good, healthy oral microbiome. So you won't want to miss that talk. This is something you're not going to see anywhere else. And uh, of course, we'd love to bring that to you. Go to rhsevent.com for details. All right. Over the past week on Monday's show, we went over why we become our own worst enemy. I love this show because two simple principles. And if you didn't check it out, I really want to check that out. That was episode 3062. Essentially, when we think about it, I think all of us, myself included, we overestimate what we can do in the short term, right? Over this week, over the next month or two. And so it frustrates us because we want to do so much more than the human body or anything the mind is capable of, right? But we underestimate what we can do over the next year or two years or three years. So what I'm trying to do is help you to reframe your thinking in order to be able to achieve everything that you want in your life based on not being your own worst enemy, actually working with yourself so you don't get as frustrated. So check out that show, episode 3062. And then up next was episode 3063. It was don't eat these fruits unless organic. So I know that that's a bold statement, but here's the thing. Each and every year, the EWG, the Environmental Working Group, comes out with their list. Over, They tested over 47,000 samples, and they found that 12 different fruits and vegetables, 
contain the largest amount of pesticides or herbicides that can't be washed off. So these are ones that if you eat, you just can't escape all the literal toxins and poisons that will disrupt your gut microbiome, potentially hurt your immune system, potentially cause cancer and so much more. So I give you all the details on that page and then I'll also share with you though the Clean 15. These are 15 fruits and veggies that if you can't afford all organic or you can't find all organic, these are safe for the most part to eat non-organic, all right? On Wednesday's show, we went over a better way of thinking of Think This, Not That with Dr. Josh Axe. That was a fun interview. Dr. Axe has been in this industry a long time for about the same amount of time that I have, um, has had great success offline as a chiropractor uh, and online as well. Uh, and now is moving more into leadership-based training. You want to check that out. Uh, that was Wednesday's show. Really fun interview with Dr. Josh Axe. And then yesterday's show was the important differences between fasting and autophagy, and believe it or not, how to take advantage of autophagy and killing cancer cells in your body, even when you're not fasting. All right. So all those shows are at stephencabral.com slash podcasts. And for every other link today, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 3066. All right. Let's dive into today's show product review of the week. It may seem like a strange one, but I also want you to understand, I want to be able to review products that are $8, $10, not always $100 or $1,000, right? So this product right here, whenever I've been using something new with my family for at least a couple months, because I want to make sure that it sticks, that I really like it, that I'm using it for a reason, uh, I like to bring that to you. So this one is Jacobson Salt Company, but it is a pure kosher sea salt from uh, and everybody from Oregon I know is going to get on me for this, but it's I'm just going to do my best to pronounce it. Neatarts Bay, Oregon. So this is a sea salt that I came across from actually Simone on our health team. She was the one who first recommended it. She shared with me an article. And the article showed all of these different sea salts. There were about 12 to 15. And all sea salts have various levels of heavy metals. And you might say, well, that's terrible. But you have to understand is that the earth has heavy metals. We've always known this. It's why we recommend functional medicine detoxes. It's why we recommend an annual heavy metal detox. And the exact protocols we use are at stephencabral.com slash chop. That'll just take you over to Equalife. That's everything we recommend. We can't recommend, well, we can't link up supplements uh, or protocols on the podcast page. So you just have to go to stephencabral.com slash chop. But this sea salt, when I weighted all the different averages of aluminum and uh, arsenic and all the different things, this one came back with the least. Now, was it this just this sample? Maybe. But I said, you know what? Let's give this a shot. You know that I love Redmond's Real Salt. That's from the um, salt, uh, dried salt beds of Utah. Now, I use Himalayan sea salt. You have to make sure it's actually true Himalayan, right? So there's so many different types out there. But I said, you know, why not? I keep them open mind. I like to try other things. So I picked up this salt. You can buy it on Amazon, get it at Whole Foods, many different other places like Sprouts as well. And when I got it, I'm going to hold it up to you. And only if you're watching this on video, of course, but I'm going to show you my hand. And as I'm spilling it all over my desk, you can see that it's actually light, crispy flakes, almost like a Maldon salt, almost like if you took Maldon salt, which is the large uh, salt flakes, if you took that and you broke it up into pieces. So we started using this just for, you know, salting our food after we make it. And it was, it's absolutely delicious. And the reason is it basically melts in a little bit. You know, if you've used the larger crystals from Himalayan sea salt, what you find is that when you crack it, you get big pieces. So every once in a while, you bite this big piece of salt. You're like, well, you know, that was, that was really pungent. Um, but also when you use the really refined Redmond sea salt, which is great too, it just kind of sprinkles all in. You don't always taste it as much. So we really have been enjoying this with, uh, with cooking for food, but we're still using the fine ground Redmond's real salt for baking. So I just wanted to share that. Like when I make my gluten-free, dairy-free waffles and pancakes on the weekend, uh, we always use the refined uh, Redmond's real salt because that, that um, it basically blends in evenly. This for a tasting salt is absolutely fantastic. It's also kosher if you're looking for more kosher food. So for, I don't know how much it is, but for $8 or $10 for this big bottle, uh, 340 grams, I would definitely recommend giving it a shot. Let me know on social if you enjoyed it, yes or no, I think you will. And again, one of the lowest uh, heavy metal salts tested out there. 
All right, next up, we have our book review of the week. I did share with you that this is one that I pulled from the archives of my library. So it is an oldie, but as they say, a goodie, that came out in 2008. So I don't know when I got into uh, NLP, but it was probably around that time. I mean, really, it was around that time. And um, the reason I can say that is because I used to order all of these CDs, compact compact discs from Nightingale Conant, and I remember a bunch on NLP. So NLP had been be around before that, but Richard Bandler, who this book is by, it's called Get the Life You Want. I actually purchased two copies of this. Uh, one I would lend out, one was a little hard copy that I had. And um, Richard Bandler, Bandler was the co-creator of NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. It might sound confusing, it might sound like a lot of, you know, uh, word soup, but really all that it is, is it's be able to, is being able to refrain uh, or reframe what has happened to you in the past to make it less scary and also uh, uh, things that you do want more inviting for the future. So it's using words and images that you conjure up in your own mind in order to make things seem smaller and less scary. That's from the past, right? Things that you don't want but also brighter and closer for things that you want in the future. Now, I've got a bunch of books on NLP because I'm, I'm very much into studying psychology. The reason why I brought you this here today, because there's obviously thousands of books I could choose from, is that this book is simple. And it's, it's not the end point for NLP, but a starting point. So what it does is it gives you a chapter on um, structures of becoming more confident and certain. Uh, over like negative thoughts in your mind, how to come over those, how to improve your finances, how to improve your memory, how to improve your health, how to improve your uh, getting over fears and phobias. So there's just a little chapter in each with an exercise at the end. And so they're only about five page chapters and there's one on everything. So if you're looking for someone that's looking to rewire the brain, you're looking for the beginning point of NLP, this could be a good book for you. I'm gonna link it up today at stephencabral.com slash 3066, along with that Jacobson Salt. The book is called Get the Life You Want by Richard Bandler. All right, research for the week is this. So I've got so many research studies and I've done a bunch of shows before on berberine, but berberine can be one of those products for women dealing with PCOS, uh, hormonal-based issues, uh, gut issues, mitochondria. But the one that I want to address with berberine today is really cardiometabolic. There are a lot of studies right now, meaning like more than a dozen great clinical published studies that show that berberine helps to lower unhealthy levels of cholesterol, so namely uh, LDL, and again, I know that all LDL is bad, and I'm not saying that it is, but if you've been told you have unhealthy levels of cholesterol, this may be a product worth looking into. Certainly a 12 to 16 week trial of it, along with healthy eating, along with exercise, along with approving, yes, the whole de-stress protocol from the rain barrel effect, all of that, but berberine can be one of those products. And the usage is typically 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams per day. It helps with type 2 diabetes, and it helps with cardiometabolic issues like high cholesterol. It has been shown in some studies to reverse unhealthy cholesterol, lower it by 20 to 30%. I'm going to link up a couple studies here for you today at stephencabral.com slash 3066. But always remember, pharmaceuticals and drugs are not your only choice. You can actually get extracts from nature that are highly beneficial. Red yeast rice extract, kyolic garlic, berberine. These can all be highly beneficial for you, and berberine has so much research behind it. Mediterranean diet, along with berberine. I'm gonna link that up for you. One capsule per meal, and again, I can't give you medical advice or a medical treatment plan, but it might be worth looking into. Equal Life carries a berberine plus, which is the clinical dosage of berberine plus Sinulin, which is the high antioxidant blood sugar balancer, cinnamon, as in, in its patented version. So you can check that out at stephencabral.com slash shop as well, or of course, purchase from your favorite functional medicine company, but look for at least 500 milligrams per capsule taken two to three times per day, once with a meal. All right, the last study I wanted to bring you is 
collagen and how it can actually improve sleep and cognitive performance. Now, unlike the berberine studies, this was a smaller study, but this is a great initial study because if the initial studies don't work on a small group of people, they're probably not gonna repeat them in a large group of people, but this worked. And so now they're gonna repeat this in a much larger study. So here's what they did. They actually gave collagen peptides to a small group of men, and all of these men were exercising. They gave it to them for seven days, and then they did what's called a washout period. They just take it all out of their system. They're no longer using it. And then what they did was they studied something called a PSG, a polysomnographic sleep data recording, and it looked at the participants um, at home, right? So their sleep at home on night six and seven using what's called an ambulatory monitor. And participants were instructed to maintain identical conditions to regular sleep habits, including the same bedtime and the same amount of manual, man, mental stimulation. That means they live the same life. That's basically it. On day seven, participants were instructed to limit protein-rich foods. The list was approved. Avoid caffeine after 11 a.m. and visit the lab two hours after lunch. That's basically just what they were instructed for, um, placebo-based, as well as collagen, and when they were on collagen and not on collagen. So here's the results, because that's probably what you, you care about the most, right? So um, the group receiving collagen peptides for seven days had significantly fewer nighttime awakenings compared to the controlled group, as evidenced by both objective measures using the PSG, which is the monitor, and self-reporting via sleep diaries. So that was interesting, but also, in addition, collagen supplementation improved cognitive performance on the Stroop test with an increased proportion of correct responses compared to the placebo, potentially due to improvements in sleep fragmentation and I'll explain what that means. So if you're waking up a lot throughout the night, not just to use the bathroom, but actually waking up through the night, tossing and turning, you break up your deep sleep, which is used to repair the body and recover, as well as your REM sleep, which is really used to recover and repair the mind, rejuvenate the mind. So by taking collagen, and what do they use it? Actually before bed. So you took this almost zero calorie, like if you use Equalife's advanced collagen support, very few calories, but you get the balancing effect from the collagen, which seems to help with a deeper rejuvenating sleep. Now, will this work for you? I don't know, but it very well may be worth the, the test. If you're using a Whoop strap or if you're using the Aura Ring or Apple Watch or Fitbit or any of these things, check it out. Use it for four to six weeks minimum, and a product like the advanced collagen support, Use one scoop uh, 30 minutes or so before bed. You can take it with your magnesium or anything else that you're using and see if it improves your scores as well. Again, small sample size, but almost no downside to trying some collagen before bed may be worth checking out. Again, for all of the protocols we use, head on over to stevencabal.com slash shop. And of course, always feel free to use the, your favorite company. And for all of today's research, product reviews, book review, and more, Head on over to stephencabral.com slash 3066. Have an amazing start to your weekend, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow with the Saturday and Sunday show answering all of our community's questions. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.